A company developing a cancer vaccine aid on your side first told you about in August is expanding human clinical trials. Morphogenesis is expanding to 20 patients who suffer from late-stage melanoma, Merkel cell carcinoma, and cutaneous squamous cell carcinoma. The vaccine targets a patient's tumor cells with a single bacterial gene, like a beacon, bringing the body's immune system down on the tumor. The nationwide study will be relatively easy on these patients. As a direct injectable, we wanted something that was easy in the clinic. So what happens in the clinic is this is administered with a tuberculin syringe, just like you would get a normal vaccine. And um, it's injected right into the tumor. So it's one injection and then it sort of fans out to get spread the, the genes uh, through the, the tumor bed. But really it takes about 30 seconds. So rather than sit in the chemo infusion bed for hours or have a monoclonal antibody that has to be infused over like an eight hour period, it's really quick. 30 seconds and you're done. It doesn't even require local anesthesia. There will be five locations around the country. The Tampa Bay location just opened at Moffitt Cancer Center two weeks ago. This is phase one of the trial, focused mostly on safety of the vaccine. All of these phase one studies that we're doing with the skin cancers are leading up to our big phase two study. That will be 160 patients and there will be melanoma, Merkel, and squamous cell patients. So um, those patients then can just feed right into the phase two study. The study is slated to last a year to 18 months. Because patient recruitment is always an issue. So if anybody knows anybody that has <laughs> those types of, of skin cancers um, and want to give this a try, it's just a one or two or three injection study. Um, so the, the maximum time that somebody will be on this study will be like seven weeks. If this phase of clinical trials is a success, big things could be on the way for morphogenesis and the future of cancer treatment. But once the skin cancer um, study gets underway, if the data turns out to be really good, we're hoping, I mean, and this is just a, a hope, <laughs> that that will be what is called a pivotal trial. And if the data is good, the FDA may be, be able to say that you can now commercialize this. So maybe three years from now for skin cancers, but then we have to test it in other cancers as well. Those interested in participating can visit clinicaltrials.gov. In Tampa, Daisy Ruth, 8 on your side.